What's up guys, Adam here on the Training Break channel and this is week two of my contest prep video series. So let's take a look at what's happened in the past week. Last week I spoke about how important it is to have a plan in place for the duration of um, any transformation. In my case, a plan in place for my bodybuilding show, my bodybuilding contest prep. However, what I've learned this week is a plan goes out the window quicker than a hiccup when tonsillitis hits. Now a lot of people out there might be thinking, oh, tonsillitis is a sore throat. Those people are <laughs> crazy. And just do not understand the pain, the torment, and the hellacious 11 days I've had with severe, life-threatening tonsillitis. Now, what's happened to me while I've had tonsillitis? I could probably market this as the greatest fat loss of all time. 13 pounds in 11 days, maybe 12 days I've lost. But that's almost a stone. 13 pounds I've lost in weight in the duration of about 11 or 12 days. New Year's Eve, I started feeling ill with tonsillitis. That was Thursday night, I think it was. And then we're now on Monday, um, about a week and a half later, and I've lost so much weight. Training plan has had to change. Diet plan has had to change. So I quickly want to talk about how to train when ill, how to train when taking time off, because it's actually a question I've had a couple of times on the Facebook page, um, I've probably seen that last six weeks or so, people are asking um, they have to take a week off or two weeks off, what should they do? Will they lose strength? Will they lose muscle? The unfortunate truth is you will lose um, some strength, You will, dare, I dare say you will lose some muscle over the course of a two week period or a week and a half period. You take a week off, as long as you eat right, you know, you're not going to change dramatically, as long as you don't do it too often. However, if you take more than a week off, in my experience, um, I find that, you know, with an illness, <clears throat> when diet changes for a prolonged period of time, I just feel really shitty. I've obviously lost weight, I've lost strength, I don't feel myself when I go back to the gym. But that does come back a lot quicker than a first timer gaining that strength. So, for example, I've lost this weight, I've lost some strength, but that will come back, you know, in two weeks' time when I've been eating properly again and training properly again, I'll be back to normal, or I would guess in two weeks' time I'll be back to normal. So, it's important to sort of, yes, look at yourself now, you've lost weight you've lost strength, you feel shitty because you've missed time in the gym, you missed time, um, you missed your diet, you haven't been able to stick to it as properly as you normally would. But just remember, you know, it's a week, week and a half, two weeks. Just remember, in two weeks' time, you'll be back on track and back to normal. So any rapid, you know, sort of weight gain or rate loss can be reversed, at least in my opinion. How should you train? How should you eat while ill? This completely depends on you. It completely depends on how you feel. For me, with tonsillitis, I literally, on the Saturday, felt I had no energy whatsoever. I felt so weak. I never, ever take unscheduled time off from the gym. And this was one of those days where I had to do exactly that. If I felt up for a workout, I would go and train almost like a deload week. So I was doing something, not pushing myself, but just at least doing something, some type of exercise and working the muscle. As for diet, it was so hard because swallowing hurt, eating hurt. I had no appetite because of the tonsillitis and I had no appetite because I wasn't training as much as normal. So it was just a car crash really. Um, what I did though was I ensured that my protein stayed high through shakes. I ate when and what I could because you have to eat when you're on antibiotics anyway. So I was still trying to eat meals but it just wasn't happening. Then I found out a little secret on Wednesday night. Gargling with whiskey sorts it right out. So what did I do for the next few days? I turned into an alcoholic and I was having whiskey on the hour or every hour and a half just to numb the throat so I could start eating. So I would recommend if you ever get some type of throat infection or throat, you know, tonsillitis, anything like that, get the whiskey out, drown your sorrows, that's a shreddy secret. So in this video today, I actually wanted to talk about how you can calculate your macros, <clears throat> but because I've spoke about training around an illness, I'll hold off from calculating macros until next week's video. So the only major update for this week, like I say, is I've lost like 13 pounds, which was not intended whatsoever. I only trained, I think, three times or four, four times, like four workouts in, when normally I would have trained six. I did no cardio, and diet was, I was making sure to hit me protein, primarily through shakes, and I was eating when I could. I'm gonna show you a full day's worth of eating video now, guys. 
but if you've got any questions about the transformation so far leave them down below in the comments and i'll answer them in the comment section and i'll also do videos about any of the questions uh, with the warrants you know an answer next week i'll be talking about how to calculate macros and then in the week after that i'll probably just look at my entire workout split and go into a little bit more detail and i'll try and bring some more workout footage you know over the coming weeks and um, just show different workouts that i'm doing so let's cut straight to the full day of eating which took place on saturday No. So, what time is it, Connie? Um, about 29. 29, so it's gym time. After the last video I had, the meal, it's been a few hours. So, pre-workout has been Protein Dynamics uh, pre-workout, which you can see in you know the videos I'm on me though. But this is an additional pre-workout. I've got the cheapest whiskey I could find, which is an Aldi special. And I'm pouring a little bit in, not too much, don't want to go silly. Now, any regular viewers know that I don't drink. However, the last week or so, about last eight days, do you reckon? Mm -hmm, yeah. I have had tonsillitis. So, last few days, this is what I've been doing. Get up in there. Cheapest whiskey you can find. Now, this is a Shreddy Breck special. It was actually my dad who showed me this. But it's Daddy Shreddy. So, I'm using that to numb me throat a little bit. I've only trained like four times, but this will be. Now, how many times have I trained this week? Not at all. Not much at all. Because I've had too shitty to go. So, I'm going to go and train back today. My throat's starting to feel a little bit better. So, I'm not going to push myself too hard. It's going to be more of like how we would train to start through a deload week or something like that. So, I'll get a little bit of footage from the gym. I've had one meal so far. I had some pre workout. I've had some really special pre workout. Um, and yeah, we're going to go and hit the gym now. I'm doing back, Connie's doing legs. And I'll show you what I'm eating after the meal, so stay tuned for that. How much have you gained then in the week? Tell the shredheads. You're on that gain train? You bought them? And now we're on three quarters of pounds. That's gains. That's gains in the ass. That ass is getting big. We're gonna get a big fat ass. Fat asses. So we've just got done in the gym. It is still recording. And as you can see, it's a lovely day, isn't it, Con? Absolutely lovely day. So managed to get through a decent back workout there considering obviously I've been ill the past week um, just had a protein shake uh, post workout heading off to Middlesbrough now to do well actually picking up Connie's engagement ring uh, she had to get it resized because of all the weight she's lost it was slipping off her finger so head in there and I might have some shenanigans and stuff here and I'll wind Connie up while I run some shops 48.50 light there and we've got a new battery. Look what I've just bought on it. I treat you. Don't I treat oh, you? Yeah. Look at that. A brand new air freshener. You don't know. You bought a new girl. Oh, yeah. Middlesbrough. Never have I seen a more wretched hide of scum and villainy. Look at that little tap car. Right, where are we going? Did you get the engagement ring? Right, yeah. I've got, I think it's like a Piri Piri chicken. <coughs> the one from Borland's with some rice. Oh, yeah, rice, uh, broccoli, green beans. It's like 60 grams of carbs, for your 45 protein, and then just next to nothing in fat. So it's time for some more food. Throat is still a little bit um, bad, it's hurting still when I'm swallowing, but it's time to eat. I'm going to show you what I'm having. It's porridge, but I'm going to show you a good way to add some taste to it. That is quite healthy. So what we need is porridge oats. I'm going to try and do this 
one-handed without the camera going too dodgy. So, got it on the scales there. It's on zero. So I want about 60 grams of carbs in this meal. So I'm going to put about hmm, 50 grams of oats of thereabouts. That'll do, 53 will do nicely. I wouldn't 53 in the US, that's worked out absolutely perfect. 53 was the magic number. Then next of all, what we do, try and get this set up a little bit here, so you guys can see, is, okay, banana, which I hope you can see here. Then you just wanna get us and mush the hell out of us, okay? So that there is going to be about, 25, uh, about 55 grams of carbs. The bananas are roughly 25, I'd say, for that size. Just eyeballing it in just over 50 grams of oats. So you're looking at um, around 55 grams of carbs or so. Next up, add the water, nothing special. So then we want to nuke it for ooh, not that long, not that long, so too high, back long. What the hell? So it's gonna nuke it for all two minutes. Then what we want to do next is add some frozen blueberries, 55 grams there, about six grams worth of carbs. You wanna mix it up a little bit, just like so, then put it back in, but instead of full power, turn it down to more of like a simmer. So the berries don't go hard, rather they pop. And I'm all about popping some berries. So while the porridge is just finishing off, open up a new batch of Dino Pro, this is the chocolate flavor. And look what's at the top. If you can see it on the camera, it might be a bit too shadowed. There's a scooper right there at the top. Damn, gains are about to be made, much easier. Still very soupy, so I'm gonna put it back in for, I reckon, another two minutes. So the porridge is done. But I goofed and I put too much water in to start with, so I'm not going to be able to put protein powder in because it's just going to go runny as fuck. But this isn't no nail view cannon bullshit, this isn't an attack where we have a take two, this isn't no easy one I prepared earlier. So, what we're going to do is just have the protein shake, this right here, just have it as a normal shake. I was going to just add it to the porridge um, and have it like, you know, chocolate banana and blueberry flavour, which is absolutely gorgeous. But rather than doing that, I'm going to just have a shake and eat that. So that comes about 60 grams of carbs. And we'll have two scoops of that, which will take me about 50 grams of protein. So I'm going to eat this now. The time is half past two. And then I'm going to go car shopping. So stay tuned. This isn't just a photo op. Look at this. Oh, fuck We're fucking clanging and banging. <laughs> yeah, look at Craig's car here. I'm going to show the viewers what your car's like. He's even got steroids in here. I couldn't. Look at that. He's on, he's on, he's on the juice. The, not the orange juice. <laughs> aren't you? Well, you are though, aren't you? Look at that. You think you're bad boy MC, don't you? Yeah. Show, show them you're representing, aren't you? Pretty much done. Pretty speedy, doing. Best. What have I been doing? Look, like, look at that. That's Piaspio. Bang on, bang on. The white one's smart, but it's more like, I don't know, it's just come back. It's upsetting. It's upsetting. It's upsetting. Right, so talk to the viewers through what we've got. I'll tell them what we've got. It's alright. Oh. Beef. Oh, wait. Beef. What do I have to do on you? Well, have we got beef in us? Well, I don't know. You want a beef cake right here? No, so tell the viewers what we've got. Um, 5% fat mince. Yeah. Tomatoes. Yeah. Tomatoes. Um, mushrooms, peppers. I'm going to put a little bit of um, herbs in there. Some a herbs. A little bit of garlic. A little bit of herby, a little bit of garlic. And just a tiny bit of tomato puree, just to like, give it a little bit. And we've got some, where's that? This mushroom rice. Rice with a la mushrooms. So, this is a big meal. I'm absolutely starving on rice. Probably about 55, 60 grams of protein because the amount of beef that's um, in the pan there. Excuse me, throw it to the lead in. I'm going to turn the camera off now because I'm ready to eat. And this is poorly, poorly sick. <sighs> this is going to wrap it up, guys. It's 75 grams of cornflakes no. and. About 40 grams of Dairy Pro, which actually finished off the tub. Watching some of your fair army con? Yeah. No way.
absolute sexual predator. And that's it guys, like I said, any questions, shoot them down below, any comments down below. There's going to be some buttons on screen now somewhere for you to subscribe. Make sure to go and check out the other videos on the channel and head over to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram to stay up to date with all things Shreddy Breck. Thanks for watching guys, but until next time, keep clanging and banging.